Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the brand new Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like and I'm also gonna do an overview of the Flower Bomb range, the different versions that are available now. There are now five versions like widely available. So I'm gonna be letting you know the difference between them all and what they all smell like. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this going through different ranges, new releases. So do check them all out. And if you're a regular, then check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications, and you can sign up to my newsletter in the link down below. I also have a detailed article on my website which goes through all the different versions of Flower Bomb and it also gives you the links where you can buy them. And I'll include the links in the description box below of where you can buy all these as well for UK, Europe, North America, Australia. So the original Flower Bomb fragrance came out in 2005, so it's almost 20 years old. Um, I have it here in a cute little mini and I think it's really well known for being a strong patchouli scent, the kind of scent that becomes someone's signature scent, really good for lasting, lots of projection. I used to smell this on people all the time, probably a bit less so these days. I think a lot of flower bomb users have moved on to things like YSL Black Opium, Carolina Herrera Good Girl, but the original Flower Bomb is still very much a classic. You get a ton of patchouli here, but it's also very feminine in that they have used a lot of an orchid note. So kind of along the lines of Euphoria from Calvin Klein. Jasmine, Rose, Osmanthus, African Orange Flower, one of my favorite notes, mixed to make this absolutely a flower bomb. It is all different flowers, all different quite strong flowers, and it's rounded off with a a hint of a tea leaf and a hint of a vanilla undertone but really it's that patchouli alongside I say the African orange flower the orchid the jasmine that are really the main notes here it is incredible for lasting you can really rely on it and oftentimes you can find this discounted the body lotions I've been using the hand cream I've just finished it actually and it has been incredible for lasting the scent I wear it when I go to bed and I can like smell it all night I can smell flower bomb just from the hand cream no perfume their body products are really good really strongly scented as well so if you're looking for a new like signature scent something strong I'd say this is good certainly for autumn winter. I think for spring summer perhaps it's more of an evening scent. It's definitely feminine but it is a little bit sexy so I'm not sure if it's really an office scent if anyone is still going to the office <laughs> but it's a classic it's a great fragrance and what's nice about it is that a lot of its flankers are also great. So in 2018 they released Flower Bomb Nectar so this comes in a more oval shaped bottle and this is quite unusual in that it has a gunpowder perfume note in it so it's very much got the original patchouli flower bomb signature scent but there is a pepperiness, a spiciness that comes from the gunpowder. It also has an ambery base with a tonka bean and it has a little bit of cassis, um, the blackcurrant plant. But for me, this is an ambery version of original flower bomb. So it definitely still smells of original flower bomb. It's just more ambery. I find that it is a little bit better for lasting as well. It is an eau de parfum intense, so it's a little bit more concentrated than the original flower bomb is. Obviously it's amazing for lasting, amazing projection. I'd say um, if you use flower bomb, it might be worth trying this just to mix it up a bit, perhaps for, you know, if you want something a little bit more sexy, perhaps a little bit more wintry as well. I think, you know, Christmas time, this could be a good option. And then you have your flower bomb for the rest of the year. And if you like amber scents, but you do really want that patchouli and that really feminine vibe, a lot of the time amber scents can almost be a little bit masculine or really spicy. This is still feminine, pretty. We've still got jasmine, orange blossom, osmanthus, but then it's also got that undertone um, of amberiness. So it's just like a twist on the original, but definitely a great fragrance that really lasts. So next we have Flower Bomb 
Midnight. This comes in this tall black bottle. I don't know why it's tall. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit like a grenade, doesn't it? <laughs> it's an eau de parfum. And this is my personal favorite from the Flower Bomb range. Why? Because it has a good black currant note in it. Really pretty night blooming jasmine as well. A hint of pomegranate and a fresh peony note. So some of my favorite notes there, I love black currant, I love peony, night blooming jasmine is a lovely jasmine scent. What this doesn't have is any of the patchouli of the original. There is a little bit of hint of vanilla, but there's none of the signature flower bomb patchouli. So this one smells the least like the original. I think if I compare them side by side, you wouldn't know straight away that it was part of the same range. This is definitely one for black current fans. I think the only downside is because it doesn't have all that patchouli in and a lot of those other floral notes, it's not quite as long lasting as original flower bomb, but it does still have good projection. You get this like bubbly black current fun fruity vibe that's very floral with the jasmine underneath but it's not quite got that intense lasting power where hours and hours later you're still really smelling it and which is a shame what i would say is if you want that lasting power but you want black currant as well is to combine this with the original or with any of them actually it's like you've got that signature flower bomb scent and then you add in all this black currant to make it a bit more fun so this would be a great layering but if you are a fan of black currant Sense, berry scents and you haven't tried this you definitely must because it's super fun I am a little bit worried that this is going to be discontinued I think the nectar actually might have been discontinued or or will be so yeah watch out for that there is also a flower bomb dew which comes in a white bottle I haven't bought this because I really don't recommend it I don't think it's very good it's a light eau de toilette it doesn't really have the signature flower bomb scent in it it's just like a musky iris with some pear, I find it boring. I, I just don't really rate it at all. And I think I wouldn't be surprised if this gets discontinued. So finally, we come to the new one that everyone's excited about, Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So first impressions are that, you know, it comes in this really lovely sort of cherry red bottle. So it's probably the nicest bottle out of all of them because it's like bright and shiny. It definitely has the signature vibes of flower bomb but it's much more fruity so you get a lot of peach here and you've got that signature orchid of flower bomb but again you haven't got the patchouli you've got vanilla in but really what i get is that signature flower bomb orchid and peach and a hint of the vanilla i guess like especially at first it seems quite vanilla-y and sweet but it settles to become a peachy orchid and i think this is Again, a nice scent, but not as great as the original because it's that patchouli which gives the original that famous lasting power. So by taking it away, you've created a new scent which is different. So if you love the original, I don't think that this will be a replacement for the original. Again, you could definitely layer it with the original to add all those peach notes to make it more fruity, but it's not as strong. It is an eau de parfum, parfum but I find that the, after a few, you know, an hour or two, I'm not really smelling it that much. Whereas original flower bomb, I literally cannot get away from the smell. It's so strong. But I guess they have original flower bomb, so what would be the point of creating it again? You know, they wanted to create something new. I think conversely, if you don't like original flower bomb, you found it too heavy, which a lot of people do. Some people find it like thick overwhelming and you like peach then maybe you're gonna love this because it feels like a fruity feminine spring summer fragrance for me this is definitely a daytime scent it really is peachy and I do love peach so I think they're trying to go for maybe a new market with this people that want something a bit lighter I think this could perhaps be you know this could be appropriate for the office definitely for school you know teenager you could wear this anywhere because it's just a a floral feminine peach, whereas Flower Bomb, you need to think about where you're wearing it because it's so strong. So I think that it definitely is Soki approved. I like the smell. I like orchid vanilla peach. I like it. It's just not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be really 
flower bombing really strong. So guys, let me know, have you tried this new Ruby Orchid yet? What do you think of it? And um, what do you think of all the different flower bomb versions? There have been lots of other ones which are discontinued now, like the intense version. There was like flower bomb in the sky, which was really light. And most Christmases, they bring out a limited edition bottle of the original, which is always really cute. But yeah, I think it's basically just those five fragrances now. And I think some of them are being discontinued. So yeah, let me know what you think of flower bomb guys down in the comments box. So yeah, that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!